on YouTube. So, it's so adult beverage Thursday. It's adult beverage, beverage Thursday, Thursday as well. So all that is included uh, in here. Guys. Well, see welcome you. guys. Let's hmm. see. Hmm. There's something wrong here. I'm not There's something wrong here. I'm not seeing the comments. I'm not seeing the text on uh, the text on YouTube. So Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's some. Okay, there it is. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I see. Okay, so there we go. So, yeah, so I okay. see uh, oh, yes. here on uh, the uh, comments here on uh, YouTube. On uh, YouTube. I can see somebody, uh, giving, can see somebody uh, uh, giving out this information about uh, how old I am, saying I am uh, older than old dirt. dirt. I'm not so as old as you think. <laughs> So, let's correct that. Let's <laughs> so correct let's that. correct that. Okay, guys, and I see, let's uh, correct that. I oh, see guys, and I see uh, people. I see so, great gold on on Rumble. So, kind of a basic the topic tonight is so kind of a basic training, so that, training so that when you look out on the internet for advice on privacy and security, that you're actually evaluating it correctly. There's Quite a bit of this information, and, there is you know, quite a bit of this bit information, of an and problem. you know there's there's you know, a little bit of an education problem. You know, privacy is such a specialized field. I'm not sure that many people actually understand privacy, even though so-called experts that make the Google ROMs and all that. If you actually study what they give you as advice, and you'll start to understand that they don't even understand who their threats are. And that is really the important point tonight, guys and gals, is if you can understand your threats, you then you understand how to attack the problem. If you don't have the correct threat in mind, then you're going to give bad advice like, you know, this uh, OS, community, OS community, this the Google Phone iPhones OS community great. that says okay, iPhones are great. Of okay, that's, that's the kind of kind of example of uh, the stupidity of some of this. About. They don't even now, understand what, what they're talking about. Now, what I'm going to use as an example for tonight for making my point tonight so is a, uh, is from a Twitter. Twitter. So a uh, a channel on Twitter uh, who is into uh, I guess. is Posted some advice and, posted some to advice and I'm going to show it to you. I'll come back to this, but I'll show it to you. There's the, there's the advice given for privacy. Look at the title here. Best privacy resolutions for 23. Now, I'm not going to go call out the party that posted this. Because, uh, they call themselves a privacy channel, but they really... Uh, they don't really need to watch my videos because they don't really understand what it is they're protecting against because they don't even understand what their threat model is. Now, if you actually look at this, and we'll go through this in a moment here, you will see that uh, they don't even match what I talk about. So, why is that? Why is it that people get advice from various places and it doesn't match what I talk about? And the problem is... Because if you don't the threat model. The threat is, or if because you if you don't understand what your threat is, or if you don't accept the threats that I'm telling you, which I've explained in what three or four videos now, I the, the last few videos have been about the threat. So if you're not understanding that, go back to those four videos that I've made, and they're all about the threat. If you don't understand, so if you don't understand the threat, then you're just a sucking NPC. And if you're a talking NPC, then you shouldn't really be starting a privacy channel because NPCs don't understand the privacy issues. So NPCs cannot start privacy channels. Unfortunately, there are many NPCs, even though they have a privacy channel, they're actually an NPC. Many of those. Okay. Some of them. Many of those. Not some of them. Listen to their advice. And you actually go listen to their advice. One day they're gonna go de Google, then the next and day one day they're gonna go de Google. The next day they're gonna go and get a standard well, Android. Uh, or one of them is gonna say, Well, uh you know, iPhones are actually good. They're private. They're secure. And they're private. Uh, just an example. And this is uh just an example okay, of the problem with the audio. Okay, what is that problem with the audio? Oh, too loud? Okay, let me adjust. This is a new computer here, so... 
My computer broke, so I had to get... Oh! Oh, my. Okay, hold on. There's a audio... Oh, my. Okay, hold on a second here. Okay. There's audio on uh, two microphones. Okay, sorry. Sorry, got that figured out. Okay, I did not see that. I did not understand what I was looking at. Okay. Got that resolved. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Give... No, wait 10 seconds until you you uh, see the correction here okay so 10 seconds uh, and it should be uh, should be okay 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 so is that fixed now it's 10 seconds now I guess it takes 10 seconds for you to respond so I guess a total of 20 seconds <clears throat> okay we good there is no speaker. It's just that there's two microphones. The I guess the camera on the camera microphone was active as well. Okay. So anyway, back to back to the issue. So so again, what we're talking about are people giving you advice and they don't understand the threat model. So the important thing is to understand from me what my threat model is that I'm trying to express to you, which I've expressed in these is the, these four these four videos. So. So on these four videos, I've talked about big tech as one of the issues. In fact, the last video, the NPC video, tells you all the threats. So if you're an NPC, you don't understand the threat. So let's, let's get that sorted away. So what's the threats I told you as an NPC? If you're an NPC, the threats are big tech, okay? That's number one. The state, meaning three-letter agencies. The spy, meaning clandestine operators uh, planted by someone who knows who the someone is likely uh, foreign agents or local agents it can be anything and then fourth the puppet masters as i said who are the puppet masters well i have no idea so some of you have you know made made statements about uh, I, I don't know how to increase the volume here i mean i'm right at the mic Okay, I'm. I mean, I'm speaking right next to the mic here. Uh, I don't want to interrupt the broadcast here by having to put a gain. Okay, I'm gonna put a gain gain controller in here so I can step back a little bit there. Okay, so added some gain. Okay, now we're in the yellow. Okay. <clears throat> So, the, 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 if you look at this uh, list of, of tips here from this privacy channel, what exactly is on this list that, that pertains to the threats I just mentioned? Tell me exactly which of these match those threats. Where's big tech here? Where's your Google ID? The Google ID is what's tracking you. Where in the heck is the Google ID in here? I mean, that's a basic one. Where's all the Apple spyware that actually, this is what privacy is. Privacy is somebody listening in to you. Privacy knowing what you're doing. That's what privacy is. Where in the heck is that in here? Is there anything here that tells you about, you know, any issues on, uh, on uh, what Apple's doing? Is there anything in here? What about the censorship aspect where somebody is actually controlling what you're seeing on social media? Is there anything here that refers to that? Well, guess what, guys? Nothing. Nothing. So this has nothing to do with best privacy resolutions because this has nothing to do with privacy because it doesn't address any threat. What this is, guys and gals, is a cyber security is the best cyber security resolutions it's the way to prevent your computer from being hacked that's what that is it has nothing to do with privacy now isn't this strange so you you go around you go around implementing this this list here that you see so you say oh there's a list you know i if i follow that i'll be private what the zuck? <laughs> you are not going to be private with implementing any of this. This is not going to solve any problem for you. 
somebody's still listening into you from mass surveillance to big tech surveillance to whatever somebody is taking your data that's what being private is is somebody taking your data and identifying it to you personally now you can have you can have privacy when your data is leaking but they don't know who the identity is how come nobody really understands this because they don't really uh, this is the problem guys so i got like people on reddit i got people on reddit attacking me and calling me names like charlatan and oh he's just trying to make money off you and all these little stupid comments from people on reddit and matrix and you know coming from this specific community on reddit and they're all idiots because they don't even know what their sucking threat is this is the kind of thing what you're seeing here what you're seeing here guys exact thought process of a lot of people who claim they understand privacy they do not understand their threats all they're telling you are cyber security tips how not to get hacked you can be hacked you you can protect yourself against hacked and somebody still spying on you that's exactly what they do at apple apple say oh we you know it's very hard to 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 uh hack an Apple iPhone. Well, not really true. I mean, you know, Pegasus is attacking them constantly now. So Pegasus hack is, you know, attacking, uh, attacking iPhone. So that used to be true, but not anymore. But, you know, some people with uh, big egos uh, because they worked in some cybersecurity something or other, and they think they're actually sharp at this. You see, I've actually worked in cybersecurity for so long that I've gone beyond the cybersecurity issue. Cybersecurity, actually, if you think about it and you understand it, it's more for the benefit of the corporation. Corporations have a lot to do with understanding and protecting uh, the cybersecurity aspect because they don't want their data, the corporate data, to, uh, to be stolen. They want to spy on their employees because they want to make sure that you're not leaking the data of the corporation. That kind of cybersecurity is not to your personal benefit. That has nothing to do with privacy. Privacy, people, is about the individual. Privacy is about the individual. Uh, if you really want to think about it, and there's a l large connection between being libertarian and being a privacy uh, person like me. I mean, there's, there's a lot of connection, connection there because you really want to be left alone and that's what libertarians want us to be left alone. So that's, you know, that's kind of the, the gist of what, uh, what uh, I want to do is to take out all these threats, big tech, uh, th three letter agencies, uh, you know, clandestine players of various sorts from China, from Russia, from the US, from the five eyes, from uh, competing technologies, competing big tech, whoever, corporate spies, it's, you know, it's, it's an unlimited list here. <clears throat> a lot of threats. And if you don't understand what your threats are, then you're not going to make progress. Okay, did I lose my, uh, did I lose my broadcast here? Because uh, the thing is frozen. The broadcast screen is frozen here so I need to know if I'm actually broadcasting okay by the way guys uh, did you watch my uh, you hear me but can you see me uh, uh, are, are you seeing a frozen image because I am it's frozen okay let me uh, hold on a second here let me re restart the